Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, June 9th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 844 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Heroes with Qin Junjie and Liu Ning gets an impressive opening Douban rating. Crystal Liu and other cast members from The Tale of Rose do a meet and greet promo event. Fu Shanhai releases a CGI laden clip of Cheng Yi. And Pai Jingting gives Zhang Ronan a piggyback ride as the two are spotted filming for their latest drama. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, one drama for today in the past few days. The Tale of Rose stars Crystal Liu and Tong Dawei. The modern drama premiered yesterday, June 8th. According to Douban, in the drama, Crystal is Huang Yimei, an artistically talented girl who's born into a scholarly family. She enters the workforce at a young age and eventually starts her own business in the field of art curation. She meets different men, all of whom have an impact on her life. These men are played by guest stars Lin Kensing, Lin Yi, Peng Guanying, and Wallace Huo. Tong Dawei plays Huang Yimei's older brother, and it looks like he has a storyline with Wan Qian. Here are the two of them in a scene. The Tale of Rose is slated for 38 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. That's it for premiere dates. Moving on, here's what's recently passed review. Two dramas to update on. Qing Ai De Ni, literally translated as Dear You, is an upcoming modern drama starring Zhang Yishan and Li Qing. It passed review and got a distribution license for 29 episodes on June 5th. The drama is in a bit of a weird space at the moment. They started filming in October 2020 and wrapped in February 2021 and had been in limbo since, until now. They do not have an official Weibo page or any official posters yet, but there are quite a few leaked videos that have been circulating for years. According to Douban, in the drama, Zhang Yishan plays an autistic man who chances upon a stranger who looks almost completely similar to him and becomes obsessed with looking for him. He meets Li Qing's character during a blind date, and she agrees to help him with his mission. Also passing review on June 5th was Link Click, the upcoming modern fantasy drama starring Jiang Long, Bi Wenjun, and Bu Guanjing. It got an online record number on the day. The drama, which explores the theme of reliving moments from the past, had just shared their first trailer on May 21st. The drama follows a trio who open a shop called Time Agent. They have the ability to go back in time by entering a photograph, and while in there, they can help people find the truth and make up for regrets. Link Click started filming in June last year and wrapped about three months later. It is based on an animation series of the same name, is slated for 24 episodes, and will stream on Billy Billy. Lastly, for drama updates, here are some recent dramas that got their opening Topan ratings. In fact, all three of them got their ratings on June 6th. The Heir to the Throne, the modern drama starring Charmaine She and Raymond Lam, opened with an average score of 5.1 from around 5,100 ratings. I mentioned this one in my last video, The Double, the costume drama starring Wu Jingyan and Wang Xingyue, opened with a 6.9 from around 13,400 ratings. And Heroes, the costume drama starring Qing Junjie and Liu Yining, opened with an 8.1 from around 14,600 ratings. The drama shared this poster on their Weibo to announce their score. As always, when dramas get their opening Topan ratings, I ask those who followed or are still following the dramas, what do you think about their opening scores? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. Alright, celebrity updates now, and today we begin with the cast of The Tale of Rose. As I mentioned earlier, The Tale of Rose premiered on June 8th. The premiere date had been rumored for quite a while, but only got its official unveiling a couple of days before its premiere. 
On June 6th, cast members of the drama did a meet and greet promo event. Here is lead actress Crystal Liu as she's handed an envelope with a quote unquote surprise message. As she reads the message, the drama, its premiere date and time, and its streaming platforms are unveiled on the screen. Here is lead actor Tong Dawe, who plays the protagonist Huang Yimei's older brother. He speaks about how his character supports his younger sister unconditionally when it comes to big matters. Here's Lincoln Singh, who brought with him a special item, a bowl of fake noodles. There's significance in the noodles, in that in the drama, Huang Yimei, who's not a particularly good cook, makes a bowl of birthday noodles for Lincoln Singh's character. The two actors pointed out that in the drama, the bowl of noodles weren't even as good as the fake one. It didn't have the egg, it was just noodles and veggies. With Peng Guan Ying, Crystal discussed some of the dialogue their characters said to each other in the drama. One of Huang Yimei's lines was, It's been 72 hours and 34 minutes since I last held you. Crystal nodded in agreement with the host when he said that the line was kind of cheesy. With Ling Yi, Crystal discussed their first day of filming together. Crystal revealed that she was very nervous because she was portraying Huang Yimei in her 40s and that it was an important scene for her. When asked if he could sense that Crystal was nervous, Ling Yi got all giddy and revealed that he was nervous too, but also very happy to be filming with Teacher Liu. Next up, Fu Shanghai recently shared a preview clip of its protagonist. On June 6th, the upcoming costume drama Fu Shanghai shared this CGI-laden video clip of Cheng Yi emoting and showing some martial arts moves. According to Baidu, Cheng Yi plays Xiao Chu Shui, a young and impulsive swordsman with low martial arts skills, who eventually grows into a compassionate and righteous hero who protects his family and country. Several leaked images from set have also made the rounds on Weibo. Reportedly, even though the cast and crew held their booting ceremony last month, principal photography only began on June 6th. Here's a video of Cheng Yi doing some wire work. Here, the 34-year-old actor is spinning around in the air, take after take, over and over again. Here is a video clip of him going over his lines and rehearsing a scene with a fellow actor. And when he needs to refer to his script again, he pulls it out of his shoe. This led to the hashtag, Cheng Yi hide script in his shoes to trend. Staying on actors on set, a clip of Bai Jingting and Zhang Ronan made the rounds yesterday. The two stars were filming for their upcoming romance drama, The First Frost. They are doing a little walk and talk scene as the camera follows them. At one point, Bai Jingting kneels down and many bystanders who were watching the filming process let out a yelp. Some production staff urged for silence as the actors continued their scene. Zhang Ronan then hops on Bai Jingting's back for a piggyback ride. A couple more celebrity clips before we get to this week's top 10, beginning with Yang Yang. On June 6th, the 32-year-old actor was at an event in Xi'an City for Tsingtao Beer. He is a spokesperson for the Chinese beer brand. On the rainy day, he told those present that he comes to Xi'an once a year, that the city is full of passionate people, and that he would love to visit more often. Then there's Wang Yibo, who was spotted in Paris yesterday. Dressed in a Lacoste shirt and brimmed hat, the 26-year-old actor went to watch the French Open at Roland Garros. Here he is walking with his entourage. Apparently, he was watching Alcaraz play, as you can see him with his brimmed hat in the background in this shot captured by Eagle Eye TV viewers. Making the rounds was the hashtag Wang Yipo eats ice cream on a street in Paris. This shot from behind of Wang Yipo eating ice cream seems to have caught the imagination of many netizens. That's it for our celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. 
It is the heart-shaped bun with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 225, June 9th, 2024. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. Lost in the Shadows, the modern drama stars Zhang Sunwen and Rong Zishan. Number 9. Year After Year, the retro drama stars Yu Xiaoguang and Lang Yueting. Number 8. The Heir to the Throne, the modern drama stars Charmaine She and Raymond Lam. Number 7. The Last Cook, the costume drama stars Hai Lu and Ji Ling Chen. Number 6. General Well, the costume drama stars Wang Yushuo and Zhao Zhao Yi. Number 5. Insect Detective 2, the modern drama stars Gala Zhang and Chu Yue. Number 4, My Wife's Double Life, the costume drama stars Daddy Tang and Zhuang Dafei. Number 3, Joy of Life Season 1, the costume drama stars Zhang Rouyun and Li Qing. Number 2, Red Moon Pact, the costume drama stars Yang Mi and Simon Gong. And number 1, The Double, the costume drama stars Wu Jingyan and Wang Xingyue. The Double is champion for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 586 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Best Choice Ever, the modern drama stars Yang Zi and Xu Kai. Number 9, Golden Trio, the modern drama stars Zhang Guoli, Wang Kang, and Zhang Teling. Number 8, The Legend of Shen Li, the costume drama stars Zhao Liying and Lin Ken Sing. Number 7, City of the City, the modern drama stars Bai Yifan and Yu He Wei. Number 6, To the Wonder, the modern drama stars Mai Li and Zhou Yiran. Number 5, Special Action, the Republican era drama stars Xia Te Jun and Liu Yitan. Number 4, Reblooming Blue, the modern drama stars Victoria Song and Vic Cho. Number 3, In the Name of the Brother, the Republican era drama stars Qing Hao and Yang Mi. Number 2, Just in Time, the modern drama stars Qing Hai Lu and Bao Jianfeng. And number 1, Joy of Life Season 2, the costume drama stars Zhang Rouyun and Li Qing. Joy of Life Season 2 ends the week with 590 points, making it champion for a third week running. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!